Let us now look at question 10. Find the term independent of x in the expansion shown. Here, the nth term in n expansion is given by n combination r a to the power n minus r b to the power r. And this particular case, our a is x squared and our b is 1 on 2 to the power x. Now, when we simplify these uh, values, we have 6 combination r x to the power 2 into 6 minus r times 2x to the power minus r. And bringing the terms to further simplification, we have 6 combination r times 2 to the power minus r times x to the power 12 minus 2r minus r. Now, the term independent of x will be given by this x value being equated to x to the power 0. And from here, we can equate the powers and solve for x. That will give us a value of r to be equal to 4. Therefore, our term independent of x, when we put into the what we have in the first step here, will be actually the fifth term. That is the r plus 1 term, which is the fifth term. And this term independent of x will have a value of 6 combination 4 times 2 to the power minus 4, giving us a value of 5 on 4. That is the term independent of x. The second part of the equation requires us to actually solve for the first term and the common ratio in the progression that has been given. And we can formulate two equations as follows. The sum of the first two terms is a plus a r, which is equal to 20 on 3, which you can factorize to have a into 1 plus r equals 20 on 3. And the sum to infinity here has been given as 12, which is a on 1 minus r equals 12, and a will be equal to 12 into 1 minus r. The, equa the equation equally tells us that the terms in this series are positive, so we are going to work with that information. Now, substituting equation 2 into equation 1, we obtain 12 into 1 minus r times 1 plus r equals 20 on 3, and when we further simplify, we will have a value of r to be equal to 2 on 3. We take the positive value because the equation says that the series is actually having positive terms. And when we substitute, we have a value of a to be equal to 4. Therefore, the sum of the first three terms will be equal to a into 1 plus r plus r squared, which equals 38 on 9. We can equally use the formula. Thank you guys so much and stay tuned as we're having a lot of nice packages which we unfold in this GCE math panel for you to prepare very well for this exam which is approaching. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and share our videos so as to help many other students. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and share our videos.